HAL restoration videos are faked. Let's take a look. HAL restoration videos are faked. Thanks to Sunny V2. Oh, another uh, internet anarchist, I think. We all know the unfortunate truth of most primitive building videos yeah. being completely bogus. We watched this. But what yep. if I told you the problem of staged content goes much, much deeper? And the, the thing is that. Wouldn't surprise me. Almost all content like this probably is fake. Most things that you see on YouTube are probably fake. Yeah. Yep. What the heck? The majority of restoration videos are faked. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today okay. we'll be investigating the cruel and deceitful world of fake restoration cool. videos. And before we go any cruel and deceitful, I don't think that cruel part that doesn't make sense Fair to me. Enough. Unless they're like literally going out beating up old ladies to get these items. It's just a quick disclaimer cruel. that this video does get very disturbing. Yeah, it's gonna be. It'd be kind of clickbaity if you not clickbaity, but like. I don't know, just straight up live. It's not that. If you're sensitive to topics relating to animals, I suggest you proceed. Uh, is this something I can watch? Has anybody seen this? Is this like a. Is... Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Like to animals? What are they like? Bleeding animals over these items? There's nothing that's like fucking get me in trouble on Twitch things, right? You'll be fine. I'll watch it. All right. It's lit with caution restoration videos have been a viral staple on youtube for over three years with the before. niche having several subcategories the most common variant involves a creator discovering a rusty aged or seemingly naturally damaged item uh -huh. and then documenting the steps of restoring it back into its intended form okay. the content grabs viewers attention by showing a thumbnail featuring an extremely corroded and damaged item yes. begging the question of what it would look like if oh, it was like, to be there's brand no new way. Hold up. this is exactly where the fault <laughs> lies Give me a extremely second. corroded and damaged item begging hold up there's no way an Xbox could be this fucked up this early. Like, that looks like something that you get out of fucking, uh, like, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, a pyramid or something. A, a Blackbeard's sunken, oh. uh, pirate ship <laughs> 500 years the pirate's ago. Pirate's Xbox. This was on yeah. the Titanic. <laughs> That's this is, funny. Yeah, this is a pirate's Xbox. Yeah. What the fuck? the question of what it would look like if it were to be brand new right but this is exactly where the fault lies okay. and whilst from a first glance this content is generally seen as harmless it's yeah. often not realized by the viewer that in many cases the creator is deliberately damaging or even just painting over that makes sense, item to steal your attention there are two primary I don't see anything wrong with fake it, item restoration videos strong fakes and mild fakes the strong variant is when the item either has cosmetic rust painted on or is covered in dirt or mud in order to give the appearance of decay eroding or like it's been left outside or submerged water for years okay. there's a huge amount of these videos on youtube not only about weapons but also on tech and shoes it's almost like some of these tech videos aren't even trying to hide the fact that it's staged going as far as submerging and washing the technology in water doesn't that just destroy it whoa i think they just stun locked asman i thought i paused it for a second that's funny I thought you couldn't do that. Oh, it's water cooling. Yeah, true. Water cooling. <laughs> The uh -huh. second variant of fake item restoration videos are called mild fakes. The mild fake variant is harder to tell from the strong fakes, as the damage is usually real. So if the damage mm -hmm. is real, then you're probably wondering why these videos are fake to begin with. But that can be simply explained by the fact that the creator is destroying the items off camera by exposing them to chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide that match- Yeah, you fuck them up and then you fix them. Simply yeah. speed up the process of rust growth. Right. And whilst this particular variant is often respected more due to the creator actually restoring the item, it still should be noted that they are destroying the items to begin with. But how? Yeah, but no one gives a shit because that's not why they're watching the video. They're watching the video for the restoration part. I wouldn't even Pro know if an item problem. restoration video yeah. was faked in the first sure. place. Well, this is Backyard Ballistics. Their restoration channel has been creating genuine restoration videos for the past 11 months, with some of the videos having between 3.1 and 6 million views. On That's the 6th of September 2022, yeah. Backyard Ballistics would publish a video titled Most Restoration Videos Are Fake, where he would go in depth on how to spot fakes, specifically in the knife and gun niche. Okay. The object is altered through a process different than natural decay phenomena. In its most common form, the item is covered in a mixture of dyes, pigments, spiders, and fillers, usually tailored to look like some form of corrosion product. Yeah. It's basically painted over. For example, there is no reason for a plastic or rubber piece to become rust-colored, nor for a steel... That does make sense. 
how could a tire have rust on it yeah i don't think that's how it works that's a good point object to develop green or bluish corrosion products if you see a steel object with green stuff on it then what you're looking at is most certainly fake steel products of corrosion in a natural environment can be of any shade of orange red brown and black but not green i was gonna say i usually see it as orange when i run into blue it or bright yellow okay. another thing that could give away one of these fakes is the presence of uncovered areas that have been missed during the application of brake rust for example, a sling's weevil could leave a shadow during spraying, and there's no natural process that would leave such an appearance. Okay. So we can conclude with high confidence that we're looking at some form of fake rust. Mild fakes are harder to tell apart, but they're also less of a scam. What happens is that the content creator takes an item in good or fair condition and subjects it to the same decay processes that can occur naturally, often in an environment that causes them to happen over yeah, a much sure. shorter period. Yeah, They fuck it up themselves. This still means that guns or items in good conditions are deliberately damaged for the purpose of making a restoration video, but at least the damage is realistic and the recovery process genuine. In other words... I feel like that's not really so bad. Yeah, and to me, like, I don't see anything wrong with that. Just straight up, I don't. I, I think that this kind of stuff is only... Like, the mild fakes is like... Who cares? You're, you're showing the process. I think the only one that I can say is, like, bad for sure is if you're actually... If you're... Painting it on. Legitimately all. faking it completely. Yeah, And the exactly. reason why is because people will take the way that it was restored on that video as the way it can be restored in real life. And also, yep. some of these people might have a restoration business that they use these videos as advertisement for. So those are the only two reasons why they're at, why it's actually bad. And still learn something useful from yeah. the video. The accelerated aging process is done properly. It's practically impossible to uh -huh. distinguish it from a natural one. It's a bit like artificial diamonds. They are made in a lab setting over the course of a few days instead of millions of years in the Earth's mantle. But if you do them right, the end result is practically indistinguishable. If the neglect that caused the decay happened over a relatively short period of time, the difference between genuine and fake is even more blurred. So with that in mind, many of the viral restoration okay. videos begin to look very suspicious. Right. A great example of a bogus... Does that appear... Nah, nah, I think I believe that one restoration channel is restoration and metal their youtube channel has gained over 117 million views across their content that's and a lot in their video titled antique guitar old restoration this is about as obvious as they get as How's they're going that? to make almost every mistake a fake restoration video could possibly uh make. one of the strings be one of the first things that get like ruined it looks like Jesse was painted and then like hit with a hammer or something. And that's about it. Exactly. For starters, they randomly find this broken guitar in their garden covered in mud. They okay. clean it up and then they use instant noodles in order to fix the hole. Put the real cherry on top. Well, that was the fact that they put the tuning strings on backwards. One might argue that restoration videos aren't particularly bad, mainly due to the fact that they are essentially harmless and entertaining yeah. for the viewer. But by looking a little in bit general. deeper into the niche, that statement simply doesn't hold true. Because recently several channels have been thriving from animal restoration videos oh fuck oh. what are they doing getting a fat cat oh this is the ones where it's like they find like a duck in oil or something like that and they wash it and they're like look i just saved this duck like that's completely different than like restoration videos these are like rescue videos oh god because it's either rescue or makeover like you're not restoring an animal Ugh. Here we go. But this only brings up more questions, such as how can animals be restored, and how could this even be staged? Well, Easily. let me introduce you to barnacles. Barnacles Super are easy to be creatures staged. that stick onto rocks, boats, and sometimes even turtles. And with the rise of quote oddly satisfying videos, barnacle removal videos began gaining millions of views on YouTube. And what people are willing to do when it comes to making money is truly horrifying. Oh, Barn they're gonna put barnacles on a fucking turtle? Who does that? Sick, sick people. Bro, just go rob a 7-Eleven like a normal person. <laughs> Leave the turtle out of it. One's illegal and one's legal. Though I don't know. Can you just fuck with turtles and be illegal? I don't think so. He's just he's trying to live his life like, holy fuck. 
locals only grow on sea turtles, and due to the rarity of sea turtles, these scumbag creators have begun staging the content using freshwater turtles. What the they do this by oh literally gluing barnacles, seashells, and dirt onto their shells, and then proceed to scrape it off their shells with the shark. The thing is, like, I don't know if the turtle feels pain in its shell, but bro, if I saw something that it, bro, he not having it a good time. looks terrified. Like, can yeah. we just admit that? Like, he is not fucking liking that at all. He's like, get the fuck off me. Yeah. Objects. Due to the turtles having nerve endings in their shell, the process of scraping oh. off glue. Oh. Okay. Uh. Objects feels extremely painful for the poor turtle. Yeah, I guarantee you. Like, this isn't like putting glue on your hand, letting it dry, then peeling it off. Bro, like, they're, they're, pe they're taking this shit off with a knife. Oh my yeah. god. This is ghoulish. Oh. Only damages the outer. And it's like I said, it's a uh, restoration, not restoration. It's um, re technically rescuing. Like they're trying to save these turtles, even though obviously it was staged. So shell but also causes internal trauma investigations yeah. done by youtube and new england reptile revealed that there's one main person behind most of these videos oh and what's even God. worse is that they kept using the same freshwater turtles over oh. and over again jesus christ it just gets Freaking worse and animals. worse that's so yeah oh my god oh what the fuck man yep Straight up sick, man. Oh my god. Like, that's, I think YouTube should take these so uh, weird, kind of videos man. just off. Like, what the I don't fuck? think they should be on there. Because it's so kind of promoting animal abuse. Through nearly 200 barnacle removal videos. You know, like, I wouldn't be opposed to YouTube having a a, a rule against shit like this. Oh, like exactly what I was saying. restoration videos, things like that. Yeah. I actually wouldn't be opposed to that. Maybe they just don't they know. Do? Well, I see it all the time. It's the same thing with the dog rescues. Yeah, isn't that animal cruelty? It is, but like, the thing is, like, you can never prove that the barnacles were on there and that they put the barnacles on there. Because even if you prove that the barnacles were put on there by a person, you can't prove it was the person that did the video. Yeah, but I still think, like, just banning it in general, like, blanket bans, like, yeah, you're not allowed to be putting, like, things that are actively harming the turtle. It'd be different if turtles did not have nerve endings, or even then, like, obviously the turtle's trying to get away, right? So I think, like, those, things like that, like you trying to shave a cat or something like that, things that are obviously uncomfortable to the animal. Like, you don't need to prove that they put the barnacles on there, or, like, maybe the gum in the cat's hair or fur. Um was accidental it doesn't matter like you should there should be just you can't have those videos on there at least my like i think that would uh really help it out so like you can never really prove that this person did it to the turtles unless you see them doing it so you'd have to not allow all of it categorically yeah exactly and like for example um like the guinness book of world records stop taking records for fat cats because people kept feeding their cats a bunch of food to get their cats in Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, uh, yeah, he brought that Once up before. Again, ghoulish. But they do it. Yep. But it's okay because he's a heckin' chonkerino. I, I, I just, I, I don't see this, uh, you know, I've watched some of these, uh, these videos and I it's actually like didn't nice know about videos it. to see. But, like, this is just kind of, like, as soon as people start doing this, here's the problem. is like, as soon as people realize they can do this, more and more people are going to start doing it. Exactly. And these videos are, like, normie clickbait. And because they're normie clickbait, they're, they're always going to be popular. Yep. Because there's always a new 60-year-old grandma that's not in tune with it being fake. So it's like, and, and like you get it with these people, right? It's like they're trying to make money and they're doing it like this. Yep. I, and like you, you, not, you can't expect people to not try to make money. You, you, you know, like you can't expect them to not try. Like they're going to. Especially make something like this. This is super easy to do. Especially if you live in an area where turtles are accessible. 
You even go to like a pet store and just buy a turtle, right? All it is is they're gluing it and then scraping it off with a knife after. So it's not like it's a lot of a uh, big barrier to entry to even do this. Make money. You can you can per like you can be a total idiot and do it. You don't have to be smart in any way. Just need some glue, a turtle, and some barnacles. Pretend like oh or like plastic shit. Oh, they shouldn't do that, but they will. Yeah. People that care for the animals will likely continue even without the video, so it only stops people that do it for money. That's um, true, and also... I mean, some people will still do it, hoping to, like, bypass YouTube, but yeah. So they could have the videos on their website or something like that. And, and I think, honestly, uh, you could even have... Like, I, I do think YouTube straight up does need to do something about this i i, I want to finish the video but like I, i'll talk about this a bit after after this i've come to the conclusion that 99 percent of these videos are made by the same person there's just one creep doing this i've spotted about six different species of turtles used in these videos after a while i started to notice something truly truly disturbing and i wasn't at all surprised they're using the same turtles over and over again and i know this because i spend entirely too much time hyper focusing on things most people wouldn't just imagine returning home after every trip to the beach just to have the stuff glued back on your shell so it can be scraped off with anything from a sharp blade to a fork the next day and with comments on these videos such as it's so nice to see kind people like you helping well, out these nine. new turtles well how the fuck the fuck does naomi know she just got she, naomi lopez she's just a nice lady with her cute little cat here that's probably her cat she pets the cat she loves that little kitty what the fuck does she know how would she possibly imagine yeah. this it seems like most people don't understand the disgusting and evil nature behind the content they are consuming. But with the rise of the content's virality, yeah. it would only be a matter of time before total experts would catch on. And on the 10th of November 2022, what a channel fuck, by the name man? of Dan the Total Man would create a video exposing a channel named Ocean Sea, which at the time was gaining millions of views from harming the defenseless turtles. This is a freshwater species from Papua New Guinea in New Zealand that they glued and it has a soft shell, not a soft shell turtle, but its shell is soft and leathery and they glued glued barnacles to the shell to make this fake video that is so twisted not only that but oh they're putting them in the ocean God. they're literally letting them swim around in salt water that's not good for them this is a freshwater species you're burning its freaking eyeballs not to mention the skin problems that they can uh. have from this look it's leaving lesions it, look it's you're literally ripping the freaking skin off the shell of the turtle here because they glued the barnacles to this fly river turtle are you actually kidding me and 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 on the hard shelled animals at least you know it, it's really uncomfortable but it usually they don't rip anything off on this fly river turtle they are quite literally oh he's pulling and then you see how the upset the turtle gets then the turtle man's video let holy let's... fuck man this is so weird like what the fuck seriously dude what the fuck is wrong with you yeah, no. Like, that's freaking disgusting. Oh my God. This is fucked up. It's hard to watch. It is. Yeah. Especially when he said, like, he's literally YouTube ripping the skin off of it, dude. It's not like what? this isn't, like, they're not doing this to, like, this isn't, like, an animal testing that's going to save lives. Like, it's just for a fucking YouTube video. Yep. What the fuck? hundreds of viewers reporting the big channels who are posting their content, which luckily resulted in the bigger channels being terminated by YouTube. But Thank this is God. the real world, and not all stories have happy endings, and in this case, that is especially evident, as the terminated channels began re-uploading their videos under new names. An example of one of these channels being Fast Ocean, who in the last two weeks has posted 91 videos amassing over 1.6 million views, gaining their channel over 61,000 subscribers. And by simply searching Total Barnacle Removal on YouTube, you can see hundreds of these videos being uploaded every single day that's disgusting man hopefully youtube sees these kind of videos and like oh realize God, like that's so fucked that's so fucked they need to do something man. thanks to sunny v2 like, we all know the unfortunate truth i i just like that's that so actually hurt weird. my stomach like, a bit the fuck? like twisted it I'm sad not yeah, that's so nasty. Yeah. Ban that shit? Yeah, what the fuck, man?
expose these low lives no i'm glad we watched this like it's that just put me in a bad mood like who the fuck does that to a turtle man it's a fucking turtle. any animal it's like yeah we can argue about the fucking ethics of refurbishing uh you know fake refurbishing a guitar but like who cares it's a fucking guitar yeah but this is just fuck i don't even want to look at the picture like he just try he's just trying to live as a psychopath no it, it's just like I get they just see the animals as a way to make money. I I get it. But like I I don't think that this shit should be on YouTube because it encourages animal cruelty in a way that's not productive. It's not like again, it's not like this is like they're not harvesting these animals for for meat. Meat. Yeah. They're they don't need it for to survive. Them for sport. Yeah. It's like at least whenever you're hunting an animal, you shoot it in the head, it's dead. Right? You don't fucking constantly farm it out over and over and over and like glue things to it and then pull the things off and pull its skin. It's, they're torturing them. Yeah. And like the guy said, they're putting it in salt water when it's fresh water. Like that's freaking disgusting. Holy fuck, man. They're torturing for the joy of the ignorant? Yeah, I know. Not everything I don't... dies in one shot. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying, right? It's like it's on a spectrum. I, I don't know. I think this is like a lot worse than hunting, okay? Like, I, I, I don't know. It's gruesome? Yeah. Even for the shells? Yeah. It's like I can understand, like, you're even if, like, you're killing the turtles for the shells, like, you need the shells for something, okay? I still think that's, like, kind of fucked up, but, like, Okay, but like they're just they're torturing them like in indefinitely over and over for yeah. YouTube video views. I don't know, man. Nothing wrong with witch hunting responsibly. No, I, I don't. Uh, I, it, it, it's not about like I, I don't want to witch hunt anybody because the yeah. truth is like we can get a channel shut down. Who cares? You think these people care? No, they're just going to make another channel. Like, the same as... Yeah, that's what I was about to just say. It's like, it's not about witch hunting. It's about YouTube changing uh, what's... If this is going to be allowed on the channel, uh, their uh, service, which I really don't think it should be. Because you cannot tell who's doing it on purpose, who's doing not doing it, unless you, like, hire a turtle expert at, like, YouTube, which is ridiculous. So I think just a blanket ban on animal restoration... Uh, or anything like that should just be banned like just straight up leave it to the news crews um in your local area uh, when a kitten it's trapped like in a sewer and they get rescued that shouldn't be um i think if it's like done by the news it should be allowed on youtube but like other than that because i have a feeling people probably would do that too they would put a freaking kitten in a tube or something and just or sewer just so they can rescue it and, you know, like, if they lose it, well, they probably just get another kitten. Is what happened with the turtle guy. Like, yeah, like, it, it, it like, oh, man, that's so fucking weird. Yeah, they just get a new YouTube channel. Just look at Reddit, for example, so how witch hunting goes bad. No, I, I don't, I don't want to witch hunt anybody. Like, I, I just, I hope that YouTube sees this and I, I, I would love to have, like, if, if they were to sit down with some of these, like, animal people that they actually trust and to create some sort of, like, guidelines for, like, what's acceptable and not. Yeah, that would be good. Because what really sucks is, like, again, it provides a profit incentive for people to harm animals because in doing so, they make money. Yep. Y'all see what I'm saying? YouTube, like, policy first, ban later. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because, like, the thing is, like, you, it, it's like, the way I look at the channels is, like, whack-a-mole. Bro, you got to replace the whole game. You play whack-a-mole all day, smashing down moles, they just come back up somewhere else. Who gives a fuck? That's a video. Like, that's a... That that's a that's a good video like uh like huge fucking shout out internet anarchist I've never fucking seen uh this guy's videos before. Well, you did the sunny video. I'm, I'm really glad he made a video about this.
but yeah, I mean, I, I do think, um, like the title, like, I have no idea why he like combined this with like normal restoration stuff. Cause I agree with Asmin. That's whatever. Um, I did not expect it to go as dark as it did. I do think he should have just had a separate video on animal abuse in general on YouTube. I think that would have been much more, um, I don't know the right word. I just know that, like, I am, like, yeah, 100%. Hopefully, Asmin being a bigger, um, you know, uh, having a ton of views uh, will help YouTube, like, know, like, hey, this is a problem that needs to be addressed uh, as soon as possible. Because that's, it's a disgusting thing that's happening. This is fucking great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this guy says, uh, he says this here. Uh, it's 2023 now. Thank you so much for 118k subscribers. I appreciate all of you for the immense support. On a positive note, some of the animal channels mentioned in this video have now been removed by YouTube. If you just want to see this, when I let you 500 subscribers away from 100k, this is huge. Thank you all. Um, new video about animal rescue videos. Oh, bro, I'm not. I'm not. Like, yeah. I'm not, I think I think we had enough for now. I was about to say, if he plays that, I'm going to have to stop because that's like, yeah, it's enough. Like, I assume that shit was a thing. And that's why I mentioned the kitten in like the sewer. It's immediate. I'm just like, yeah, people are going to do that. I'll watch this in like maybe a couple of days. I, I don't want to watch another one, man. Like, <laughs> good for you, Esme. I'm not going to watch that shit. Sorry. It, it's just like, I'll put it on just to like give him a like. Uh, enter to anarchist because I think it should have views, it should have likes to get uh, YouTube's attention. But like, I don't want to watch it, it's just gonna make my day worse. Um, and I can't do anything to actively help. So, I mean, not like I, I mean, maybe I can try to find the channels and try to report them, but that's about it. These videos are rough to watch, yeah. But like, it's like you gotta see it, you know, it's like it's better to see what's yeah. real than live in a fantasy. Like, that's always my viewpoint. I mean, I agree with that, but at the same time, it's not like I live in a fantasy where I think it's not happening. I just don't see how me watching the full video um, is going to do anything other than make me feel like shit. Because uh, there's animals out there being abused and I can't do anything. It's like Imagine this turtle the thing. black market videos. Yeah, but like you're never going to you're never going to stop freaks from doing stuff. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to. The thing is that there are people that torture and kill animals for fun all the time you know and we don't know about it and we're not going to be able to do anything about it and it, it, it's like it is what it is you know what i mean exactly so there are people that, that kill humans yeah people kill other people like that's just how it is but like you, you're not going to go and try to make a uh yeah but that's why it's still like against the tos to like post like torture shit on youtube it's the exact same reason like you're not gonna like you're not gonna stop all of even self-torture it doesn't really matter but it's it's about stopping the system that incentivizes it that's what really yep. matters like you can hate the player all you want but just know that all of your hate towards the player might make you feel good but that's all it's gonna do because as soon as you bully them off or you get them banned three more will take their place and then modify their videos to where they're slightly harder to be detected. Yep. Give up the video to monetize with a warning label. I don't know. I, 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 I think that there's other ways to monetize either from, from that way. And also people might not read it, etc. Idiots killing rhinos to just make their dick bigger. Yeah, I know. Are y'all crying here about animal abuse while eating bacon? Yeah, but, like, here's the thing, though. Here's the difference. Is that, like, whenever they kill the pig, they're not constantly, like, imagine imagine if to get bacon out of the pig, you had to carve out its insides and then let the insides of the pig regrow itself and then do it again over and over and over. And also, if you eat food... You are getting something out of it that is necessary. Now, you don't have to eat pigs, but you are still getting something that is a necessary element of life. There is yeah. nothing necessary or mandatory 
about turtle barnacle removal videos. So like not only is it a bad example, but even if it was a good example, it still wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know why the vegans are like coming out of the woodwork with this one because it's it has nothing to do with like veganism. Like it's kind of crazy that they're like trying to put in there like, oh yeah, like any like if you eat meat, you're like these people. It's like such a stupid argument. Yeah, there's a level of torture farm animals and pigs do. The turtle thing is unnecessary. Yeah, I I think so. But people like eating animals. I love eating animals, but I don't love this. I think this is weird. Yeah, like if. That's the whole thing. Like, if you found out, like, the place you bought meat from was, like, torturing the freaking cows and chickens and stuff, you'd probably look for somewhere else to eat. Because it's like, yeah, dude, that's fucked up. Why are you doing that? Like, there's no reason to torture them. Like, yes, kill them or raise them and kill them because, you know, that's... You, you want the meat, but... You know, I mean, animals do that, too. They don't raise them, but they kill each other all the time to eat each other. So to me, I was like, I don't see that like as being an issue, but like torture. That's why like sometimes you see like those animals, especially like monkeys, when they like torture their prey, it's just, it's fucked up also. And I think it's also just like the culture around it and like kind of the, the behavior that it promotes. It's kind of like, it's like what I said with the Guinness Book of World Records, where like it's probably not a good idea. Like they, they got rid of the like the fattest cat, for example. That's it, Gasman. Uh, pigs are what bleeding out, so their meat's tender. You're gonna be killed by Twitter. For what? That's stupid. Because yes, they're bleeding out to make the meat tender. I I guess I don't really know too much about it. But at the same time, it's not like they wait to a certain point and then like patch up the pig, um, and then do it again. Even though it would make like, say for example, do that exact same thing where they're bleeding out pigs. But they're not doing it to make the meat tender. They're just doing it because they want to see the pig bleed. And then they'll, like, you know, heal it. and Not heal, but, like, put, uh, wrap it up and stuff like that so it can survive. Wait for it to, you know, fully heal. Uh, not heal, but um, close the wounds or whatever you want to call it. And then do it again. And again. And again. It's two different things like uh, edit that why would what, what do you mean so what if somebody gets mad at me on twitter i just block them who cares what what do you think what do you think is going to happen like what are they going to quote retweet me and say i'm stupid it doesn't matter it's not real life twitter's not real it doesn't, it doesn't make it yeah what do you what do you what the fuck's wrong with you um yeah i'm sure that there are some things that are bad and and also like in my this is always my viewpoint with like animals is like obviously killing the animals for food is not the most humane thing that you can do however i think people should be able to eat animals and you know it's totally fine i love doing it i think that this is a gratuitous display of indulgence it is unnecessary it provides no unique value and it creates an incentive to torture animals in a way that is profit driven yeah with with no, it's needlessly cruel and i don't see a benefit of this as i said i'm fine with people using animals for testing you know to test like a you know like a, a mouse to see if you can regrow stem cells to save people from cancer totally fucking fine with that but there is nobody's being saved because of this video yeah I mean, there's always the argument on, like, humans in general treating animals, like, poorly. But I think there should be a line in the sand, and that's, like, just torturing for torture's sake. Or torturing for no uh, actual value. Um, like, obviously, like, if you're doing experiments on animals so that we humans can use a product, or, you know, not product's the right word, but use something that's not exactly safe for us yet, like that, I think everyone's going to, most people would agree, like, fine, it's a necessary evil in a sense. Um, but like this YouTube things, it's like, it's not helping anyone. Like, people get to watch some YouTube video of someone, like, quote unquote, saving a turtle. 
Well, then the, the truth is, like, they're absolutely torturing that turtle. Like, that's the difference. Yeah, I don't know. That's it's a fucked up video. Kind of... Yeah. I don't like that this person put it as restoration videos are faked. And then put that turtle stuff there. Now that I'm saying, like, it's bad that uh, that kind of awareness isn't spread, I just don't like that he made it, like, a two-in-one video when that... Could have been, should have been its own video. Maybe they thought they'd get more views. I, I have no idea, but yeah.